Hey, this is Jeff Komar. Welcome back to Turbo Tips for S6. In this module, we're going to be focusing on track layouts, starting with creation and recall. Then we'll look at aggregate track layouts composed from multiple workstations. Layouts are an incredibly powerful way to bring together a collection of tracks from Pro Tools or another Yukon DAW independent of their group affiliation. These channels can be populated and recalled in a predictable and customizable way, giving the operator an efficient way to organize and access critical session elements. The first thing we'll do is jump to the workstations page, where we currently have three different systems attached, including Pro Tools HDX, HD Native, as well as a Logic Pro workstation. With an M40 based S6 system, we can attach a total of eight different workstations with integrated support for KVM solutions from IHSE and others. One of the important steps to perform prior to creating and storing layouts is to define the workstation which will be carrying the layout data. If we take a look at the bottom of the workstations page, for the HDX system, you can see Pro Tools 18 Mac has a blue star next to it telling us this application on this workstation is responsible for storing the data. From the system settings page under Auto Load from Titles and Session, you can see that Layouts and Meters is currently ticked, so these will automatically be saved and travel back with the Pro Tools session. If these attributes are not enabled here, your layouts will not be recallable from Pro Tools. The Tracks page is the primary interface on the S6 for creating and modifying layouts. Let's press the Assign button to start the process of creating a new layout. We'll be selecting tracks from the channel matrix, displaying tracks by color and type, and placing them down in the lower scroller, which represents the physical faders on your S6 surface. It's certainly possible there may be more slots here than you have actual faders. If we take a look at the local preferences, you can see under Number of Strips in Layout that we can easily prep a session to be opened on an S6 with a larger number of faders. My system has two fader modules, for a total of 16 faders. Let's first hold down the Shift button, which will modify the Clear button into Clear All, a quick way to purge all the previous tracks from the destination scroller. While in Assign mode, we can touch the first four blue tracks, which happen to be kick drums, then touch the physical fader one below to contiguously add those tracks. I can optionally change the function switches from the Process module to determine which view on the knobs is recalled when I load the layout again. So for example, on the 808 kick, if I want to keep track of the dynamics, I can change this channel to the green view for Dyne, and it will be recalled that way. The order that you touch the tracks in the matrix determines the order in which they are placed into the physical faders below. If we toggle into Insert Mode, we can quickly insert our parallel compressor aux for the kicks in between the kick and snare tracks. Insert's a great way to add and shuffle existing channels from your layouts downstream. Let's add a couple last drum channels, tweak their channel views, and now touch Store. Up comes a grid showing my layouts, and we'll choose an empty slot, slot 7, double tap to give it a name, Drums, then hit Store again to finish the save. Let's go back into our layout collection and do a little cleaning up. The layout named Loops happens to be from a legacy session, which we don't need now, so I'm simply going to drag it off the grid to delete it. Let's also reorder these a bit, move preamps up to slot 7, and let's place our new drum layout into slot 4. Press Done to close the layout's grid. To close the currently recalled track layout, simply hold the Shift key while pressing the layout's button. Next, let's look at accessing multiple workstations to create an aggregate track layout. Again, touch Assign to start the process. Shift plus Clear All will give us a clean slate and remove all the currently populated tracks. Let's add back in the first few kicks from our primary HDX system. I know our Logic Pro system has a number of loop tracks I'd like to add in as well. Hold down Shift while pressing the Workstation button to access the workstations on the Master Module touchscreen. Touch the Logic Workstation, then press the Tracks button to bring up the tracks contained within the Logic session. I'll simply grab a few of the loops and beat tracks, and then drop them at Fader 4. We can also change the channel views for Logic to CEQ, just like we did with Pro Tools. Instead of always going back to the touchscreen, we could simply touch the Workstation button to bring up these same machine selections on the soft keys. Finally, let's touch HD Native on the workstation soft keys to access that session where we can grab all the bass tracks in insert mode, pushing the snares downstream. Press Store to bring up the layouts grid. Touch slot 5. Give it a name, Drums and Loops. Then touch Store again to finish. Press Shift plus Layouts to close the layouts. Based on preferences, it's also possible to press an illuminated switch adjacent to a soft key for a currently recalled layout to close it. This assumes that the preference for the auto-close surface recall soft keys is not ticked. Layouts can be opened and closed by pressing their associated soft key switch. This can be handy if you need to constantly switch between recall of various layouts. 
For some users, maintaining access to the Automation One panel located on the top left side of the master module is essential. Enable the Auto Close preference so that this panel defaults back to Automation One. You can also use the Quick Jump functions to access layouts by holding down a fader module shift key while pressing backslash on the numeric section of the Automation module. This is a pre programmed user page which defaults to the first six track and the first six meter layouts. In the previous module, we looked at recalling VCA masters from within a spill zone. Let's now access our track layouts on the left side of the console. First press L spill to light up the left zone, then press the layout switch. Now we'll select our drums and loops aggregate layout. We can use the user 1-2 switches to bank the channels around within the 8 fader spill zone. Drums from the HDX, bass tracks from HD Native, as well as our loops from Logic, all remembering the particular channel views we initially chose. While the spill zone is open, we can quickly toggle into any other layout, including VCAs, lead vocals, or perhaps our session submasters. The blue LEDs illuminated on the menu switches indicate that we're looking at an 8 fader zone currently containing track layouts. To close the spill zone, simply press Shift plus left spill. Finally, if we recall a track layout and want to make a modified duplicate of it, we can simply hit Store, choose any of our 96 slot locations, in this case number 10, save it as Drums 2, then press Store. This is a quick way to create a new layout which is based on an existing one. To return back to our standard bank channels view, simply press the soft key for the currently lit track layout.